Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your Tech Tosas, and today we are going to learn about our Pear Deck Canvas integration. So as of right now, it is ready to go, and I'm going to show you how you can create a quick assignment using Pear Deck. I'm going to go into one of my courses. When I'm there, I'm going to go to Assignments. I'm going to create a new assignment and let's call it a pair deck just so I remember okay you can give the instructions you need to give here you can add the points you also can change the group to the correct assignment group submission type you want to make sure that you go to external once you are there let's go ahead and find pair deck it's right here let's go ahead and select now you can give it a due date also, if you want to give an available and until date, you can do that. And then let's go ahead. I'm not going to save and publish. I'm just going to save right now. And the first thing, the first thing you have to do is to log into your Pear Deck teacher um, account. So again, um, Pear Deck is going to ask you to log in. Okay. So you're gonna click on it, and you have the options to log in with Google or log in with Microsoft. Okay. Log in with Google will mean that you are going to use Google Slides. Login with Microsoft will mean that you will use PowerPoint. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to use Google Slides. Um, if you uh, are more comfortable with Google Slides, you want to use that one. If you have more PowerPoints created, you want to use that one. But I'm going to log in with Google. And you can always change this. Uh, but let me just show you, okay? Now it's going to ask you to select from your drive, okay? So we are assuming that at one point you went to your drive, just so you see this. you have a Google Slides presentation and in that Google Slide you added your Pear Deck add-on and you have actually created some slides that have Pear Deck questions okay um, how do you know if you have some of those just to give you an idea if I go here notice how the little pear over here I think his name is Perry but I'm not sure uh, it's right there that tells me that I created a question and notice that you have options to add text questions multiple choice numbers websites draw and so on and so on you can also record audio and we have another video that shows you how to use Pear Deck and how to change your Google Slides or your PowerPoint uh, into a Pear Deck presentation but I already have one so I'm going to go back Okay, I'm going to se say select from the drive. It's going to go there. It's going to say connect. I'm going to say agree. The first time you do this, it's going to ask you, do you really want to do this? So I already touched it. So it goes to your Google Drive, okay? So over here, you have to remember what you name that presentation, okay? So I think I named mine Pear Deck um, Outsiders, I think. So I'm just going to look for it. And it's right here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select. Once you do that, you get two options. You get a student pace in which um, the students can complete your Pear Deck asynchronous. And also you get the instructor pace activity where you are le leading the students through the presentation and you can actually see their responses live and you can um, uh, basically um, get instant feedback and also be able to modify learning if you wanted to do it this way. So again, student pace or instructor pace, and you can always change this, okay? So maybe you started with the instructor pace activity and you run out of time. I can go ahead and switch it to student pace and the students can complete this on their own. I'm going to do instructor pace right now, okay? And it's going to set it all up for us, okay? So when our students go into the class, they'll be able to see this as a student. Um, um, they'll be able to see this, and I'll show you that in a second. But what I want you to see is that um, in addition to this, so over here, as a teacher, you will move through your slides. Okay? The students will be able to see what type of questions they have. And here, you um, can add a new prompt if you wanted to add a question on the spot. And then to the right, on the little snowman, you have the option to see to make full screen, 
to open the da dashboard in a new window and the dashboard is the one that is going to show you actually the responses with the students names and what they are doing okay um, open dashboard in a new device if you wanted to so if you have two these two screens or two displays you can have the uh, pair deck open in one and the dashboard open in another one and then over here let's say that you run out of time you can turn this into student pace and now the students can progress through the pair deck on their own pace and over here you end the session before we look into some of that stuff, I want you to go to PearDeck.com and I want you to log in. And the reason why I want you to log in is that I want you to see that in here, I will have that session that is going on right now, today at 802, and what I'm doing in here, and I have some options in here, okay? To end it, to turn it into student pace, uh, to name it and to archive if I want to, okay? But also, under Paratech, I want you to see that on the right, if you go to your name and you go to my account, you have some options that you can turn on. Mainly, uh, classroom climate, to find out how kids are doing, if we think about social and emotional. Immersive reader, and I will, I will recommend that everybody turns this on. This allows immersive reader to work with Paratech, regardless if you are using Google Slides or PowerPoint, okay? We don't have to turn the Google Classroom on. And then you have the takeaways, which will send the kids a document after the class that will personalize each answer they put on each of the um, slides, and they'll see that. And also you have the required student logins. Right now we have it on, so they have to log in, or you can turn that off, but it's on right now, and our students are using Google, their HLP ne um, HLP net that net account and we also have the Microsoft if you wanted to do it that way so I'm back over here as a teacher but I want you to see it as a student so as a student this is the first question my student got how are you feeling and the reason why they got that is because if you remember uh, on my pair deck account I had turned that on okay so they can just skip it or just say I'm feeling okay now it's loading the presentation and remember that I am now um, teacher pace okay so notice that the students do get the immersive reader button over here because I turned that on the teacher can move through the presentation so the teacher because it's, it's teacher led it's gonna go to the second one facts about pony boy okay and notice what the kids see they have a place where to put their answers right here okay because I created this slide with answers okay so if I came in here and I said he is and I just put my answer right here as a student, what I want you to see again, that as a teacher, over here, I have one-on-one -on -one response now, okay? And if I wanted to show that response, I can see what the student said, okay? So as I continue, I'm going to hide the response, okay? I'm going to go to my next slide, facts about Daryl, okay? My student can see that now, facts about Daryl, and type their answer, okay? And I'm just going to type gibberish right now so you can see it. And now let's see what it looks like from the teacher point of view. So if I want to see the response for this question, I can see the response. So I can go through the presentation and my student can kind of um, add the responses on the spot. What I want you to see is that maybe I run out of time now, okay? And I want to now turn this presentation into a student pace before the students we're not able to move through the presentations freely, okay? But maybe I want them to complete it on their own. I can now go ahead and turn on student pace. Okay, I'm gonna say, got it. Okay, and now look at what, what happens. My student can go on their own. Okay, and this is a question where they had to uh, use the, uh, the pen to actually write something on here. And they can continue through the entire presentation and add answers depending on what type of questions I put. So this is just a quick overview of how it will look through assignments, okay? What I want you to see um, is that you also have, so by doing um, the pair deck as an assignment, what it did for me, just so you know, is that it put it on grades. So I actually have a spot that is called, uh, a spot in my grades that is called pair deck over here out of 10 points and I can go ahead and actually enter the grades, okay? But many of us might wanna just use pair deck as a formative assessment. So how would you do that? The easiest way will be to be in your class, if you function through modules, go to modules, okay? And then notice that over here, I had an assignment for pair deck, but if I wanted to do it differently, I can go to the plus, and I can just come over here and say, I wanna use an external tool, okay? When I do that, 
I say I want to use Pear Deck. Okay, it's going to load it right there and I'm going to say add item. And notice what it did. It added an item, but now it's just a link, okay? Before, we had our Pear Deck assignment right here, okay? And you can see it's an assignment. The one that I just did is just a link. And if I click on that link, as a teacher, I want you to see what happens. It's going to open, and now I can select whichever Pear Deck I want to use, okay? And when my kids go to it, they'll be able to see that particular Pear Deck. So over here, I didn't have to select which one I needed specifically because it wasn't an assignment. It just allows me to use the link to go to my drive and select any of the pair decks that I, I have already created and I can just bring it in there and I can share it with the kids and we can work on it together. So again, doing it this way will not add a column for points in your gradebook, but it will still allow you to use pair deck. So it depends on how you want to use it. What's the easiest way or more effective way for you? If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.